President Donald Ramatar has now indicated that he and his government have lost confidence in the Speaker of the National Assembly, Rafael Trotman. The Ghana government remains unhappy with the recent decision of the Speaker of the Assembly to send the issue of whether Home Affairs Minister Rohi be gagged to a committee of privileges and in the meantime not allow the minister to lay any bill before the National Assembly. Over the weekend, President Ramatar expressed his frustration over what is going on in the National Assembly, where the combined opposition holds the majority. The president told the women's conference of his party that the recent decision by the speaker was a political one and not a legal one. The president all but stopped short of calling for Trotman to step down. Trotman indicated just last week in the National Assembly that he would be prepared to go his way if all of the parliamentary parties or any one of them called for his resignation. I don't expect that this will not be seen as a controversial decision. But as I indicated last night, unless there is the support of all three sides of the House, um, the decision will not hold, and that I was prepared, if any one or more of them feel that <clears throat> I was wrong, they can ask for my resignation, and I'm prepared to go. The majority being held by the opposition in the National Assembly is not something that a government feels comfortable with. But the administration may be cautious too and may not want to call snap elections, fearing an outcome that might not be in its favor. The many conflicts in the National Assembly have even forced the Georgetown Chamber of Commerce and Industry to issue a call for compromise. The opposition parties have made known their position, saying that while they are open to compromise and working together for the good of the nation, the government's position seemed different. The government would differ on that and has been saying that it is willing to work things out.